Okay, is it energetically safe to play with a pendulum, to use a pendulum? The answer is yes and no. Yes and no. Now, this is, I'm just gonna lead, lead caveat, this is my experience that I'm speaking from. This is my experience of working in um, the energy medicine healing arts for over 18 years. I also used to play with pendulums religiously. Um, so this is, if this does not land with you, it doesn't land with you, it's okay. Because it might, you might be like, Beth, I love pendulums and I'm gonna play with them. Awesome. But I do feel like this is a public service announcement that I do want to, um, I do want to address. So pendulums, this is my opinion. Unless, and my experience, it's not even an opinion, it's my experience. Unless you have journeyed or meditated for a very specific, like a pendulum guide, and this is a guide that's benevolent, of the light, loving, wise, connected to the divine, all guides that you're working with, please make sure they are connected to the divine, please. So freaking important, because there's a lot of trickery out there. This is why I'm talking about the pendulum. Let's say, so if you have a pendulum guide, so that when you pick up a pendulum, I don't have a pendulum, but, and you were like, I'm gonna start doing my thing, you know exactly which guide is in, is communicating with you through the pendulum. Very important. In fact, you would want to even ask the guide, how do I infuse your energy into this particular pendulum and keep it clean from interference? That, in my experience, is the only really safe way and you get to be intentional in that or up, nice and strong, nice and strong, organize, balance, connected, and then ask your questions. That, in my experience, is really the only safe way to um, play with a pendulum. And then here's the thing, most guides do not answer in yes or no questions, right? Like the, the pendulum's like, is this, um, should I move forward? No. Okay. You know, there's no communication, there's no depth to a pendulum, right? And I know that when I was using it, it kept me in my, um, more of like a worry state instead of in my truth. Kind of kept me in an anxious state instead of like, I know my truth, and dropping in. And here's the important piece, because this is what I see all the time. People get a pendulum, they play with it, and they don't know who they're talking to. You don't know who you're talking to, right? Like if you do this, you may, but some, I've seen a lot of people not know at all who they are talking to. And you're like, oh, I know I'm talking to my angels. How do you know? How do you know you're talking to your angels? You don't. Unless you did exactly what I said in the previous, you know, part of this video. And even then it feels tricky to me. But if you're committed to playing with the pendulum, that would be your best bet. Very intentional, knowing which guide you're talking to. Well, how, I know I'm talking to my guides. How do you know? The pendulum, in my experience, is a compromised way of connecting with the guides. Kind of like the Ouija board. Probably not as dark as the Ouija board, but the pendulum has been used for the dark and it has been used for the light. It's been used for both. So if you think about it, you're opening up a channel as soon as you pick up a pendulum. And when you do that, this is what I've seen. It's a freaking party. Unless you're connected and you're very intentional, the, the darker, lower energetic beings that are everywhere right now, it is there, the veil is so thin, it is so activated right now. There's so much trauma and anxiety and fear and all the things in the world right now that those lower entity, darker beings, um, not like, de I'm not talking demons, I mean demons exist, but I'm talking, there's just a lot of debris. They see someone take a pendulum and they're like, whoa, that girl or that boy doesn't know is wide open. All right, let's mess with them and come through the pendulum. It happens all the time. And when that happens, then you've got stuff in your energy field that you do not want in your energy field. So in my experience, again, my experience with a pendulum, you are playing with fire. You are playing with spirit fire, <laughs> spirit fire, energetic fire, because you don't know who you're talking to. 
and it's you're ripe, you're open, you're an open, open target. So when it comes to journey, when it comes to talking to guides, you want to know who you're talking to. It's so important. It's so important. You want to make sure you are talking to guides that are directly connected to the divine, to God, to source. Whether they're earth-based guides like power animals, are they of the light? There's a lot of trickery right out there right now. The guides don't often tell you, hey, do this, do that. They don't really work like that. They don't really work like that. So you want to be organized and intentional. And when you create a relationship with your guides in an organized, intentional way, either through meditation or the shamanic journey, then it opens up. One, you get organized, grounded, and empowered, and you get to know your voice and who you are in a way you never have. And you're clean, and you're protected, and you're connected. And when all of those things happen, you start to Life starts to set, like get really rich and diverse and beautiful. And the things that you want to manifest, you start manifesting them. It all starts here. I've seen so many people go, I'm going to take a business course. Awesome, go for it. But it's their mind that gets in the way. They get in their own way. So that's a whole other video. I'm kind of going off on a tangent. But if you're not in your power and in your strength, that then if you pick up a pendulum, you are ripe for interference. Again, my opinion. So here, to sum this video up, are pendulums safe? Yes, if you're doing it correctly and you have the intentional guide, and no, they are absolutely not safe if you don't, if you're just opening it up. And I want nothing more than for you to be energetically safe. You are psychic, you're empathic, you are gifted. And right now, those of us that are in this spiritual realm, we are being targeted. I'm, we are, it is. It's true. It's true. We are being targeted in ways that we weren't before. It's, it's on right now. We are in the Pachakuti. We are in the turnover. So you, I want you to be in your light and safe and grounded and empowered and fierce and wise and psychic. So the tools that you use in your toolbox get to be that as well. The vibe, the, the pendulum is very low vibe. Epic. Not all of them, but a lot of them are. And a lot of them aren't made with intention. It's like, who made that? What kind of energy went into that pendulum? Did they, you know, what kind of state of mind were they in when they put it together? Where did you buy it from? I mean, all of this stuff matters when we, when we play with these things because it opens up a portal. And I want you to be a bad ass, connected, grounded, spiritual, wise man or woman. Okay, that's my rant. All right, we're in the middle of a three-day challenge. We had it yesterday, we had a challenge on Wednesday, and today is Thursday. Tomorrow ends on Friday. If you have not signed up, it's not too late. And it's a free, we're going to be activating your spiritual gifts. And not only that, courage. Courage is a muscle. And what I've seen is what stops people from going for things is their courage. So come get a courage activation. Doesn't that sound amazing? All right. I'd love to hear your comments about pendulums and your thoughts. And again, this is my experience. You may think completely differently. And that's awesome because we still can be able to freely think, right? Freely think and have active and juicy conversations. All right, my name is Beth Osmer and I will see you hopefully at the challenge.